Good morning, everybody. Friday, 25th of January. Hallelujah. It's been the longest month of the year. January, we've got, I'm assuming the majority of us have received pay. So the crunch of December is over. Um, I want to say a big thank you to TME for a brilliant workshop yesterday. Just sorry we didn't have enough time to get to all the um, exhibitors there, but what a good turnout. It seems as though the cries for people not pitching for workshops and being uh, penalized and fined if you don't uh, arrive for your workshop has worked. The only thing that still is an issue is when you say the workshop starts at quarter past nine and registration is from quarter past eight to quarter past nine and people still come waddling in at 10, 10 30. That's not good. But brilliant workshop, I had a brilliant day, met up with some of my old colleagues, Mesh, got to know a new, a new friend of mine, Lynn, you a friend, I see you as a friend, thanks, it was great, it felt like the good old days. Um, to speak about today, um, online advertising is, we're getting there. I have, uh, out of my online adverts on my uh, Aero City Travel Tales and out of um, my, my YouTube videos, I got four queries this week. It's, it could have been zero. I got four this week, which is brilliant. It's great. Thing, the, the adventure is taking off. Um, what I wanted to speak to you quickly about today is um, uh, we've touched on uh, your bucket list and yeah, something from a local perspective, which I learned yesterday, which I didn't know, is does anybody know where the world's smallest, smallest desert is? Now, most of you would might probably say, well, it's you know, some in Namibia, close that way, or up in Africa, or in Arizona, in America. No, guys, it's in the south coast, KwaZulu-Natal. You're welcome to go and Google it. It's called the Red Desert, and it's down right in the south, and it's something, it's about 200 meters by 200 meters. And when you look at it from the satellite view on maps, you literally can see it's a piece of red desert. Uh, it's on your way when you're traveling down from Port Shepston to the Wild Coast. It's been um, tested by uh, uh, meteorologists or geologists, all those fancy people. So yeah, that's definitely, um, that's the smallest, smallest desert which we've got in South Africa. It got reiterated yesterday at the workshop that we were at, that South Africa is an absolute gem. We have got world-class restaurants, world-class wine. Spear Winery was there yesterday um, with whom they, with uh, uh, Shan, uh, uh, Shannon Blanc, or uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm under correction. Um, Sauvignon, Shannon something, who, they won the world's best wine. The world, the whole world. So, guys, Africa, South Africa is a hidden gem. We need to see our own country. Put your bucket list together. Do the Drakensberg. Go down to Neisna. Um, the South Coast. Um, beauty, beauty, beauty. Cape Town, the Winelands. They are the most gorgeous um, guest houses and... Um, hotels which we can visit. We've got our first um, electronic hotel. There's one in the Cape and there's one in Santon. We like you would check into an airline with your online check-in. It's in Santon in, uh, on West Street. It's a signature hotel. So everything gets done by your phone. There, there is the traditional checking in method where you've got a receptionist, but you don't have to go that route. You literally go in, uh, check in by flicking your phone with a barcode and you get your room key and everything is electronic. There's a hotel in the Cape 
um, uh, seller's hall or not, will give you a, I think it's called a happy phone. So you leave your cell phone there and, and they give you your data and your, uh, and you can go anywhere. This is pretty much for the international market, but you can use it in South Africa as well to sell to people, um, to your corporate travelers. Stunning, stunning, stunning places. So guys, give me a call. I've got all the information from the workshop yesterday. Lots of new, lots of exciting things. Um, have a good weekend. Uh, we've got pay, so go and stock up your groceries. No more just salty cracks for, for, for dinner. We can at least put a little bit of salty cracks with cream cheese and a little bit of um, pado ayerkis. Guys, I love you. Fabulous. Bye.